An important lesson that I've learned in my life came from when I was in school and our teacher had assigned an essay. This was an essay analyzing a novel that we had just read, a literary analysis essay. And he had assigned this about a couple days in advance, right? Let's say the due date was about Thursday. He had assigned it on Monday. And I remember I didn't do it on Monday, didn't do it on Tuesday. And on Wednesday, I started at 5 p.m. I started and I remember I spent two hours grinding on this essay, just working hard. And I remember looking up at the clock at seven o'clock now. And I looked down on my essay and I've only gotten the intro. In an essay, basically you have the introduction, then you have two body paragraphs, two or three body paragraphs, and then you have the conclusion. I had only written the introduction, which is about four sentences. This is the smallest part of the essay. I had been obsessed with changing the fonts. I had been obsessed with how the first word sounded. I had been obsessed with the quote that I used in the beginning. And as a result of that, I had spent two hours doing basically what I could do now in like five minutes write four sentences and I kept working and I stayed up all the way to 11 p.m. just to finish that essay and the next day we turned it in and our teacher told us that was good I assigned that essay so you could get an experience of writing now I'm gonna show you how to write an essay and then he showed us how to write an outline and an outline is basically none of the sentences that you're gonna use it's just a structure of the actual essay it's just what you're going to talk about and it's saying in this you know body paragraph i'm going to talk about this and this and this just three bullet points and it just lays it out for you in a clear to see format and that way you just plug and play you just put in your sentence for each of the parts that you need in that essay and i applied this idea throughout my life and i know you're probably thinking bro what are you talking about but the reason I say this is because a lot of people just get stuck up on trivial matters. They get stuck up doing absolutely nothing. How much of your day do you actually spend accomplishing anything? Or do you spend it just like I did, spending two hours on four sentences and being obsessed over how the first word looks and how the second word matches and how this stuff will sound right? When instead you could have write, written the whole essay and got a decent grade if you had just gone for it and plugged and played. If you had just looked at what you needed to do, you looked at your plan and you just did it. You looked at what you actually needed to do, the most efficient things that would get you the most result. And you actually did that, right? Because if I just had an introduction, I'm going to get a zero. Like, I don't even have what I need for a full essay. Instead of going just for the introduction, I should have just filled out the whole thing and then tweaked on it a bit later. Stop thinking that you have to focus on a little thing when there's much more important things in your life that you need to accomplish. This is how people go throughout their life and they get nothing done. What results do you have to show for today? Hey, what do you actually have to show that you did today? If you don't have something clear that you've done, you need to start creating goals. You need to start creating plans and outlines and routines for yourself so you get stuff done. And one of the best ways that I've found to actually do stuff that it will move me towards my goals is to create a list of actions that you can take. Create a list of everything that you need to do. And what you're gonna do is assign a score to each one of them. And I know you're thinking, dude, I don't have time for that. This will be the most time efficient thing you have in your day. This will save you the most time. You will get a return on investment. I promise. So write it down everything you need to do and then write down a score to every single one of those. One through ten. And then just do number ten first. Do the number tens first. And you'll find that you actually accomplish something that's meaningful. Stop working on, oh, let me just make sure it sounds good in the beginning. Just get the whole thing done. Don't get caught up on trivial matters. And another tip that I have for you is to do those highest priority tasks in the morning. So ideally, you should create this list of tasks that you need to do, assign the score the day before you're going to do it. So in the night, preferably. And then the next morning, you're going to wake up and you're going to do the highest priority task. You're going to bang it out. And you are going to be so productive. Right now, I'm recording this. It's about 6 o'clock a.m. Right, 6 a.m. And I've been recording two others. And I'm going to record a couple more. 
right? And the reason that I do this is because this is my highest priority task. This is what I need to do. If I don't do this, I will feel, you know, unaccomplished. I will not be proud of myself. So I need to do these things and they're the most important. And so I do them first when my brain is clear. So many people will say, oh, I'm a night owl. And I used to be a night owl too. I used to stay up so late and I used to do work late. I promise you, this is better. Because why would you do work after you've gone through your whole day, after you've eaten, after you've put in the mental energy to work out, after you've texted people, after you've talked to people, after you've done other work? Why in your mind do you think that you would have the brain space to actually do good work after you've done all of that? That makes zero sense. Do the hardest priority work in the morning and you will thank me for it. And I'll give you an example from my own life and it's honestly kind of embarrassing, but I remember when I first started to get into self-improvement, instead of actually working, instead of working out, instead of working on my financial status, instead of learning, instead of doing anything productive, or I think anything productive, instead of actually putting effort out, I would spend my mornings watching the differences between Docs, Google Docs, and Notion. I would watch comparisons and it was the most brain dead thing ever. I used to watch these videos, these comparison between Notion and Docs for about like an hour, right? And then I would go, I would eat, I would text people. I would sometimes even go on YouTube, I would go on Instagram, I would go on TikTok and I would get nothing done. I would get absolutely nothing done. And at the end of the day, I just feel unaccomplished. Is that how you wanna feel? Is that how you wanna feel? Because you don't take the time the five minutes that it takes to write down your task and actually assign a score to it, it's so easy and it will save you so much. Why are you sacrificing your pride for that? Why are you sacrificing your self-confidence for that? It makes zero sense, trust me. Try this out. And if you really wanna take this to the next level, which is what I do, I journal every single day. So I assess myself on how much did I actually focus on what was important? I don't assess myself on the results. I don't assess myself on anything other than actually doing what was important to me. That's it. That's all I assess myself on. I have a quick summary of my day and then I just go into what are the lessons that I can take from this day. So journal to keep yourself accountable to whatever tasks you created for yourself. And if you want to save even more time by focusing on your work instead of focusing on stuff like working out that is meaningful to you but you just want to get done and you need someone to just tell you what you need to do in the present moment. What do I need to do for this workout? You don't want to think, you don't want to be searching up, hey, what is the most effective workouts for your chest? What are the most effective workouts for this? And you just want to know what to do and you want to be able to do that from anywhere you want, do it from your home, from the gym, from everywhere. If you want to learn to exercise like that and you want to have my guidance to tell you exactly what you need to do, exactly the form that you need, exactly the repetitions, every single thing that you need, check out the link below and I'll help you with your exercise and your fitness there. With that, I hope that you got something from this video and I hope that you go out and conquer.